Hi, welcome back, and today is something a bit different. A little solo paddle from September 2021. I've been meaning to edit this for ages. Enjoy. The Mull of Galloway marks the southernmost point of the stretch of sea separating Scotland from Ireland, known as the North Channel. Several strong tidal streams converge and mix off the end of the Mull, and that with opposing strong winds and swell can produce treacherous sea conditions. I walk to nasty windy box pattern sea conditions, not really the day to solo the mull, but the wind was due to drop in the afternoon. As loose bay empties out past the mull, tidal streams can reach a spring rate of over 6 knots. Please note the drone footage was taken on a much better previous visit. We hung around until the wind had dropped later in the afternoon. I launched from the east side of the mull and made my way out into the tidal stream. I could now feel an increase in speed with the strengthening stream. Approaching the eastern tip, I could now feel the races mixing together with the remains of the wind as it spiced up the sea conditions. I really needed to keep my head on a swivel now. Today the choppy conditions wouldn't allow me to venture inside the deep colourful cave just east of the foghorn. Staying closer into the head would keep me out of the main races which I could clearly see further out. Some of the smaller points requiring a little extra push from me against the tide. The cave beneath the foghorn is only a shallow depression and not possible to explore. The mole itself is well worth a visit in the right conditions and has some really pretty features and colourful formations.
The impressive race was building strongly on the ebb now, down the west side, and standing waves were starting to form further out. Each little point requiring just that little bit more effort to penetrate. The inside line required on this one to avoid being pushed further out into the main race, travelling south to the Isle of Man. Thankfully, it wasn't as strong as I'd first thought, but prudent to be cautious when paddling alone, nevertheless. Finally rounding into the small bay after a really satisfying paddle and well worth the wait for conditions to settle. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share with friends and consider subscribing for notifications of future video uploads. Thanks for watching.